take a little flight down here through Chemical Valley and I figured I'd take you uh, for the ride. I'm gonna get the old wifey poo here to drive and we'll see what happens. Welcome to Life with Belsif, I'm your host Belsif. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here like this and Stacy's way ahead of me already and that's all right, I, I can catch you pretty quick. There you go, I'm already up to you. She's gonna turn. Here, let's look down on her. Let's look down and see how good she's driving. There we are. Hey, check out the solar panel on the truck. That's freaking decent. So here we go. We're gonna go this way, Captain. We'll see if I can keep up to the old truck Ruski. I'm already ahead of it. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's get her in. Let's put her in a little bit of high speed gear here. We have to put her in sport mode to keep up, Captain. No, you're good. Actually, I'm keeping up to you. Freaking right, I am. I'm gonna go across. I'm gonna cut you off. Jesus! Look at that flight, Jim. Go down and bring this here. No, I'm ahead of you, babe. You come right across. Where are you? Here, let's stop for a second so you can catch back up to me. I'm way ahead of you. There you are. I found you. I'll let you get up. Start going up the overpass, and then I'll catch up to you. All right, here we go. Jesus! Air traffic warning zone. Fly with caution. 10-4 over. There we go. How about you fly right over? I'll just follow you. I'll follow your leader, Captain. Let's do a cut cross. We'll do a cut over. Oh, let's do a fly sideways. Yeah, we are. Holy cow. That's awesome. Let's go to sport mode so I can catch you. You are outtaking me right now, but that's okay because I got the power to catch you. There we go, eh? A little Tim Hortons action. There's little Herx. Herx Rentals right there. How you doing? And we're going to fly right on through Chemical Valley here. And hopefully we'll get all cocked over. But I'm going to get ahead of you a little bit, hun. What do you think of that? Because I'm at 36% battery. And I'll be lucky to make it through here. To be honest with you. I'm following that blue car. Oh, yeah, we are. This is freaking awesome. So when you're flying through Chemical Valley here, you just gotta make sure that uh, you stay over the road. Don't go over the Chemical Valley or you'll get in trouble, I'm betting. And I got low battery, so, oh shit, pull over, hun. Thank you, Jason. Keep going. Cause you're over these, this right here, right here is good. Keep going. I can't see you. I'm waiting to see you. I'll tell you when it stops. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Forget it. You're good. Stop. All right, let's switch this battery out and we'll put another battery in and go back up because I'm not done the tour yet. Oh, Jesus Christ, that curve is high. What's really going on down there? All right, hit it, hon. Go. And that's the way she goes, and I'm going to go 150 meters, and I'm not even close to that, so we're good. We're going to cruise on down here, and hopefully I'll have enough battery to get up over the overpass, and then she'll have to pull over on the reserve. But if you look over, oh, there, there I am, look at, oh, decent, better hurry up and catch up again. But here, let's go sideways. Oh, shit, I'm going over the plants, don't do that. Cat, we'll get in trouble. Check out that, eh? Friggin' right, Jim. Make sure I stay on my side of the road. There we go. I think I got her. Perfect. There she is. That's what we want right there, Jim. Stay's doing a lane change. Friggin' right she is. And I'm all over the friggin' place flying. How fast are we going? Just over 50. You're doing 50. Okay. Oh, is that too slow? Well, no, but it's hard on the battery friggin' life of my drone because it's trying to catch up to us. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of video. This is just a drone flyover of Chemical Valley for you. Because that's what I like to do. And I don't know why I can't fly any more than 150 meters. We're nowhere near the friggin' airport. Oh, you got a red light. Uh-huh. I'm gonna keep going. And then you can catch me. What do you think of that? Let's update home. So if it comes, it doesn't go far. Bypass. Oh, bypass. Oh, shit, she's driving again. Freaking.
forget it. We'll do it later. Make it a little higher. Sure you can. It's a 50 zone. Ooh, gotta get up over the wires, Captain. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of wires here. Let me go across this way. We'll cut across. Because it'll be quicker. Oh yeah. Friggin' right we are. We're kicking some butt, Jim. Good driving, babe. You're doing it. You're doing it and not losing you either. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing good. I'm staying away from all the wires and everything. We're doing awesome. I think I'm ahead of you. Sure am. Yeah, yum. Oh, God. Tell me battery's low again, so when you find a spot, pull over. Right up, yeah, right up here. Just pull over right up here after the thing. It should be good. There you go. There's there's a truck ruski. Pull over. And stop. Thank you. Good job, babe. Yeah, I gotta find you. Where are you? Holy shit, you're way down there. What happened? Check out the solar panel on the truck, Jim. That's freaking decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Well, there we go. We did a little fly. I landed it. I got half a battery. I didn't charge my batteries. So I started with 60% on all three batteries. So I'm going to save the next battery for up the river a little bit here in case we see a boat. So we're going to carry on up here. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought of that so far. And we'll uh, we'll carry on. And you're going to keep driving because I ain't want to drive right now. What do you think of that? Fine, all right. Well, we took the family for a drive, had a good time. I wanted to come home and put an inverter in the truck so I can charge my drone batteries on the fly. The one that Sean lent me, which I gotta give back to you, Sean, doesn't work. I think it's a pulser and it doesn't put out enough voltage to charge the batteries, so I don't wanna cock them over. But So I went into the old Vanarooski because that's where the 1500 watt power inverter was. I turned her on and I thought I was welding something. I never have the damn camera rolling when it's something good. So I took it apart and it's cocked. All the outputs are just blacker than dicks, and so she's junk. So I guess if you don't use an inverter for a while, they just cock themselves right over. But that is a Canadian Tire special, so what do you expect? They're all friggin' garbage. Leave your comments below if you agree with me. What are they called? The Eliminator. No. The Elevator. No. The whatever the f*** it is. But it's garbage. It's gonna go with the old truck Ruski all guarded too. But I remember it's gotta go into J&J for some body work there in a month or so. So I don't want to cover it with oil if... Uh, Jamie's got to work on it, eh, but I don't want to don't want to cock you over with some oil and this and that and everything. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm getting older, and as I get older, I'm getting grumpier. Is that friggin' possible? Help me out here, or is that just something that happens? I just, I could have snapped like 10 times today, but I didn't. Figure that one out. No patience in my old age. So now I'm going to go in the house, hook up the old Amazon there, maybe do a little edit on this video that I just got for you, and see if I can find an inverter for a decent price for the old Silverado so I can charge my drone batteries when we're on the fly because, like I said, I got some solar power hooked up, and I'm going to take you through that. I'm waiting for a different charge controller to come, and once that charge controller comes, we'll hook it up together. So stay tuned for running solar onto your car because that's coming. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that. You better. Friggin' right, you better. But I love you guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoyed the racing videos. Winter's coming. Friggin' right. So we'll have more projects in the garage coming up. Because that's what I like to do in the wintertime. Projects in the garage. So we'll have to see what happens. But like I said, we got to tear the old safari apart. So we get it tore apart. Get all that stereo gear and stuff taken out and put downstairs. And then we'll go from there and then store that in the back. So we got to get on that soon. Hopefully in the next couple weeks. Right after Thanksgiving weekend. That's when we honk her down. Winterize stuff and get to her until then stay tuned hopefully everybody's having a good day like i am not doing anything i ain't doing and until next time you know what to do for now